A tragedy on the North Shore has left the friends and families of two high school graduates heartbroken. Investigators say Austin, Austin Henning from South St. Paul and Max Williams from Invergrove Heights both died while cliff jumping into Lake Superior. The two 18 year olds drowned near Silver Bay on Sunday afternoon. WCCO's Jonah Kaplan shares how grieving classmates will remember their legacy. First they liked computers, but then they were turned on to cars. Everything, how they sound, how they drive, how they look. Parker Radmaker showing us the picture of him and his best friend, Austin Henning, on top of their new cars, which they plan to rebuild and modify to their liking. Radmaker, though, will now be working on both cars, as Henning died Sunday while cliff jumping into Lake Superior. Just don't take people for granted or anything, really. You never know when you might lose someone. 18-year-old Max Williams also drowned. Radmaker says the two buddies were on a couple's trip with their girlfriends. They jumped, they resurfaced, and uh, they were seen struggling, and they called out for help. But uh, the water was really aggressive with, like, the storm and everything that I just went through. And uh, the water was also really cold. Wednesday marks three weeks since their graduation. So it's not like Max or Austin would have been back at Simley High School anyway. Still, it's not just about a physical presence in the hallways. For younger classmen, just knowing that they were there for them, that went a long way. Henning was about to enroll at a tech college in Illinois. Williams planned to enlist in the Minnesota National Guard. Braden Bryant, an incoming sophomore, called Williams a great friend to look up to. He just always had the right mentality. Like, he would just go at life with this, just, I got to give it my all positive energy. In Invergrove Heights, Jonah Kaplan, WCCO News. The DNR says the temperature of Lake Superior generally stays below 55 degrees, even in the hot summer months. Survival time in the water without a life jacket could be less than two hours.